it's still spring, but you can sort of see it happening. The tree canopy. That's actually the reason why I wanted to move to this neighborhood. Not just because it's called Green Tree or anything like that, but because I really like tree canopies in residential areas, or really any area. <sighs> Good kitten internet. You can see the reflection of my hand. It's been a while since I've recorded a vlog. <sighs> so, I'm walking to the post office again. For the same reason I was walking to the post office the last time I recorded a vlog like this. Which is to mail more things to Creator so I can actually get married. <sighs> because I need even more paperwork, and all of it has to be on paper instead of digital. And the only reason why it has to be on paper is because Norwegian government does not allow for somebody without a state ID to submit anything digitally. No, I can't apply for state ID. They won't let me. <sighs> Let's see, how have I been? Well, been fighting gout again because my blood pressure was rising pretty much consistently throughout the month of April. Basically, whenever I got back from Florida, I can take this off for a little bit at least. Um, and as a result, they put me back onto medication that had a theoretical side effect of gout. I've been on the same class of medication before, but this one was supposed to be easier on me. At the absolute minimum dose, I got gout within a week. Or not within a week, exactly one week. So, that's fun. Um, that was last week. This gout session hasn't been quite as painful as it is normally. But I still have... About the best thing I can call it is bruising. And unfortunately... Well, fortunately, that medication worked fairly well at clearing up as another side effect I have, which is swelling of my feet and legs. Unfortunately, now that I'm not on that medication, they've swollen back up. Which means that my shoes barely fit. So my foot's constantly being squeezed. It's great, let me tell you. On the good news front, um, let's see. It's an absolutely gorgeous day outside. I'm wearing clothing that fits. Um, I posted about this on pretty much all social media that I'm attached to, but... Long story short... <laughs> short. Um, clothing doesn't really fit me very well. And... Never has. Admittedly, I am among the heaviest that I've ever been in my adult life. I have been... Heavier when I was, when I left Florida, but that's about it. And that doesn't help when it comes to shirts fitting me, but they've never really quite fit right. One more. See, look, it's a flannel shirt. And I have a pen, because this time I'm actually remembering to bring a pen with me to the post office so I can sign things. Um, where was I? Oh, right, shirts. Uh, so, part of the reason why it's so hard for me to find shirts is due to my abnormal body proportions. So, I am fairly average height for a guy of my generation in the United States, but my legs are extremely short. How can this be? really simple. I have a very tall trunk, or the part of my body that's not my legs. The easiest way you can tell is when uh, my grandmother has a picture, and I know I've relayed this story before. My grandmother has a picture somewhere of myself, my father, and my uncle all sitting on a couch. We all look the same height. My uncle is eight inches taller than me. My father was six inches taller than me. Uh, <laughs> It's just the way I am. My legs just never grew to the length they were supposed to. Neither did my arms for that matter. So, 
<sighs> that means that I have the trunk of a tall person. Probably not to record other people. Um, and I don't know why, but I never thought about trying to buy tall clothing, as in clothing for tall people, because I am not tall. My family members are tall. I am not tall. So I just ignored that fact. It's for obviously tall people or really big people or stuff like that. And no, turns out, so most of my shirts that I've been wearing as of late have been 2XL for reference in US sizing, which means absolutely nothing anywhere else. The shirt that I'm wearing now is a large. It's a tall large. And it fits better than any shirt that I have worn in the past... Ooh. Almost decade? Pausing again because it's time to cross a major road. There we go. Road crossed. And on top of that, I found a clothing manufacturer that actually seems to have relatively consistent sizing with clothes that don't automatically shrink the moment they go into the wash, which is nice, because as you may be able to tell from any of my other vlogs, I primarily wear clothing with prints on them, usually silly cats or silly role-playing references. <sighs> but those constantly shrink. And part of my body image issues was the fact that I assumed that it was entirely me getting fatter. Turns out, no. <sighs> It genuinely was my clothing shrinking. I am getting fatter, but not by anywhere near that much. What? From after my partner left at the start of the pandemic to now, I am roughly the same weight. Bouncing on a daily basis, but otherwise roughly the same weight. So, yeah, it wasn't that. Anyway. Don't know why I felt like vlogging, but I did. Bye, Internet.